Hello everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to episode 46 of Dungeons, Dragons, and Space Shuttles, where I think I'm ready to make a bunch of cool things. We'll see. I can make that. Ooh, I need another 30k cool and sell. I thought I had all that already. Bad Direwolf. I was so close. I was so close to having all the things I need. And then I need you guys, because I've been smelting this up. Uh, last episode we set up War Tripling, which was a good time. Um, and... You know what it made? It made for a very power-hungry system. <laughs> very power-hungry, as a matter of fact. So, uh, in this episode, I think we're going to look into better power production. At least that's the plan. We'll see. We'll see if we get what we want. Um, so for that now, I should be able to do... Enrichment Chamber is done. Uh, crusher is done. Pressurized Reaction Chamber maybe needs a dynamic tank. Yep, we should be able to pull that off. Uh, let's see, dynamic tank. That doesn't look terrible. Glass pipes and stone tanks and blocks of steel and mana steel plates and oh my. Oh my. I think we have most of that, though. Uh, yeah, 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 that looks pretty cool. That looks straightforward enough, actually. Uh, what, what am I missing for this? So the block of steel. Right? And then the two stone tanks, which is just going to be some stone. Maybe you guys work, maybe you don't. We might have to smelt some cobblestone in a second here. We'll find out. And some glass, which I thought I had some laying around here. I am constantly not having enough glass. Is it cobbleworks time yet? I feel like it might be. I feel like it might be cobbleworks time. So my plan for today is to set up ye old overpowered... You know what? Ethylene generator. That's right. You guessed correctly whoever said ethylene generator. I'm sure somebody did. Somebody knew I was talking about an ethylene generator. So uh, those of you who haven't seen the ethylene generator before, it's pretty powerful. I'll show it to you in a moment. Whee! That's enough sand and glass for now. That's my designated get a bunch of sand area. And I'll leave a stack here like so. So at least you can run. Cool? All right, so that's going to get me some glass. That looks cool. What else do we need here? So what I'm working on right now, specifically, what else did I need for this guy? We need basic tanks. So that's iron, two tank valves, silicon, and iron plate. So that shouldn't be too bad. We need two of these. We'll grab a stack of iron. I'll put away my cleaning tubes and lava for now. I think we're good with that and the bucket. Cool. And uh, yeah, we've got most of what I need for this setup. So you're going to see like a start to finish setup here. I'm also looking at a garden cloche, which is not terribly hard to make. Not terribly easy to make, but not terribly hard either. Um, it's, it's, it's pretty doable, right? Uh, so I'm going to need six of these again. Perfect. And we're going to need that many. That's like, I think, exactly enough, isn't it? It is for one of those. So for another one of these, we're going to need some cotton. I should get back to... Is cotton on my harvest list? I forget. But I should, I should get back to that. But that's two of those, right? Which can be turned into two of these, which can now make me... All oh, right, two iron plates. Do I have any more of those laying around? I've been making extras every now and then of some things that I find I frequently need. Just in the back of my brain, I'm like, I always need more of this, right? And iron plates is obviously one of them. So I sometimes, when I go to make and I need like eight iron plates, I'll make like half a stack, right? Just throw it in there and we're cool. Um, so that should have bought me enough time to get two stone tanks. One, two, perfect which gets me a dynamic tank, which gets me a pressurized reaction chamber, assuming that my enrichment chamber is here and happy. Cool, pressurized reaction chamber. Check and check. Uh, these guys we can't, well, we can sort of make them. We can make speed upgrades, which, uh, did I put them away? What do I do with my speed upgrades? There they are. I've got eight speed upgrades for now, uh, but making energy upgrades, not so easy. So energy upgrades are not terrible. The only problem is we need enchanted plates. Uh, and enchanted plates require enchanted ingots, and enchanted ingots, if you scroll through and find all the things, there's a couple ways to make them, but the main ways uh, specifically include glowstone ingots, 
which are usually relatively easy to get in Mechanism. However, the recipes changed in this pack to require a rolling machine um, from uh, this mod, which we'll call it, uh, Attack Reborn, right? So I need Energetic Blend and Mana Steel. So it's easy-ish to get, or Osmium, right? Either way. Um, but that seems to be the only way to get it, from what I can tell. So we need the Tech Reborn Rolling Machine, which is going to be part of Chapter 3. So we're going to get into that pretty soon, I suspect. Um, now, I happen to have a few Enchanted Plates, probably from some rewards somewhere, or for some questing. So I had three of them, which is lucky, because I needed two uh, to make my Garden Cloche, which is what we're going to make right now, right? Um, so in addition to this, I needed Copper Wire times two, Redstone times two, because the other thing I need to make is vacuum tubes, uh, and nickel plates. Let's get two of you real quick. Um, now, we need to use this guy, and I don't know that we have the, whatchamacallit for this yet, but we'll find out, hopefully we do. So we need the blueprint for crafting components. Crafting components, that's metal press molds, this is crafting components, I almost have what I need. need a little bit more paper, and I need an aluminum ingot, huh? I have an aluminum plate, and I have aluminum dust from Tech Reborn. No idea where this stuff is coming from, but I will take it. There's an aluminum ingot for me. Sweet. Uh, and sugarcane, we might be a little bit low on paper, paper, paper. I can just go outside to my sugarcane farm, right? Probably. Where else do I get paper from? In the compactor. Uh, sawdust will do it. Or rice. Ooh, really? Rice? I think we got a lot of that, don't we? Compactor, do your thing. Okay, so there's your crafting components. Quest complete! Hooray! Boop, boop, boop. Boop. Vacuum tubes. Alright, so that tells me that I should now be able to make my garden cloche. Hooray! Beautiful, that's off the list. Dynamic tank is off the list. And I think we've got everything we need now. I think we have everything we need now. Um, I might want some more of other things, but we'll find out. So let's put away all our junk and get ready to do some setting up of some stuffs. Cool. All right, that gear was for something. What was that gear for? I had bronze gears for something. The enrichment chamber, maybe? I don't know. Pressurized reaction chamber, right? So to make ethylene, here's what we're going to need, right? Uh, we need biofuel. We need hydrogen and we need water. Now over in that little area I've set up already, we have water. Remember I set up the aqueous accumulator so that I could turn water into hydrogen and oxygen so that we could use oxygen to ore triple. Well, we have hydrogen that we're not using. Well, guess what? Combine the water that we already have over there with the hydrogen and we get ethylene, which is a very powerful fuel source and mechanism. However, in addition to that, we need biofuel. Biofuel is made in a crusher, which is why I made myself an extra crusher just a minute ago. Um, and it can basically take any plant material. The plant material that I've happened to chosen is probably potatoes. That seems probably like the easiest way to go for me. So what I'm gonna do is just grab a little, I don't know, you don't need a lot to get started, but I'm gonna grab a few potatoes and we're gonna grow them in the cloche. So the cloche from um, Immersive Engineering basically grows one crop very quickly. So you plant a potato in there and it's just gonna very quickly make lots and lots of potatoes, which is cool because we need lots and lots of potatoes for our biofuel, right? So that's what we're gonna do, right? So this is gonna augment our power. Because if you look, we're like, eh, not so great on power, right? We're struggling a little bit. The only reason we have a net gain right now is because our oil generators are running. And while they are great and I'm loving them, I want another fuel source because that ain't gonna last forever. Uh, so that's kind of the plan. Um, so I don't remember why I have extra bronze on me, but I'm sure I'll realize that I forgot some machines somewhere along the way, right? But long story short, we have most of what we need to get stuff going, right? Uh, so I'm gonna put away all this excess crafting components that I uh, pretty much set up here. And now we're ready to roll. So let's go do the thing. Um, the reason I made these speed upgrades, by the way, is I wanted to or triple my ovium ingots because I had a few oviums and you can triple them, which is cool, right? Um, you know, I, I just had to like speed up this because we were pretty backstuffed in terms of osmium, but look how much iron we got. And that's not even all of it because I, I also smelted some iron up here just to speed the process up. So remember last episode, we put like a few stacks of iron into the thing. Look how much iron I got. Oh, it's beautiful. Or tripling for the win. Not 
too shabby, right? And now we're cooking up our osmium, right? So none of these have speed upgrades in them anymore. I just put them in there to clear out the iron that was cooking so that I could do the joxum stuff or whatever it was, ovium. Yeah, the ovium. So that's what that was all about. Um, just because I wanted to, you know, quickly get that going. All right, so now we're going to go over here with our muffler, which I hate. I hate not hearing block breaking noises. You guys, it just bugs me when I can't hear it. It's annoying. It's really annoying. Um, but it should be fine. It should be fine. We'll be all right. Shh. Everything's okay. I might wind up adding that mod that adds the bobble sound muffler because that's like a nice quality of life mod. And frankly, it's not overpowered at all. It's just like, hey, I don't have to have annoying sounds, right? Because without this sound muffler here, this thing makes a really annoying noise. It's a cool noise, but it's super annoying. All right, so let's get this going. So in addition to all this, we're going to need some fluid, some item, uh, some energy. Like, we basically need all, the, all these things. We need all this, right? Uh, basic logistical transporters. We might need a few more. Uh, so give me a couple steel plates uh, and a basic circuit. One, two... We'll just get this going nice and quick, right? Basic logistical transporter, only because we're a little bit low on it, right? Uh, and what was it that goes in there? Two silicone, 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 silicone. Don't tell me I don't have any silicone. Oh no, I do. Reservoir, where are you at reservoir? Did I accidentally put it away over here? Where did I put my reservoir? Am I crazy? I should have one. I don't know what happened to it. Now I'm like legit concerned that my inventory is being all derpy. What is up? Where'd I put it? What happened? What inventories have I interacted with lately? I don't know. We'll figure it out later, I guess. I'm sure it's somewhere hiding. I'm sure it's somewhere. I couldn't tell you where. Uh, were these things hard to make? Not terribly. Eh, I'm not going to make it right now. How about we just get two buckets? That works for me. Thank you. Where the heck, where did I put my reservoir? I don't remember where it went. It's driving me nuts. It's really bothering me. Cause you know what's funny is I had an I, I I think I lost an ancient dust too, and I'm trying to remember where that one went. So, I don't know, probably went into some inventory somewhere. Or it's staring me in the face, as usual, because you know Dyer. That happens sometimes, like, 100%. Like, it's here and I just don't see it. That could be the case. YouTuber blindness is a thing, guys. It really is. Okay, so let's get this hooked up, right? So, to get this going, what we want to do next is we want to have the pressurized reaction chamber, right? Which we're probably going to want to move this sound muffler. You guys can experience the fun of this noise. See? See what I mean? Okay. Let's do that. Whoo, the sounds of silence. They're beautiful. Okay, so you need, um, and we're gonna configure the sidedness of everything here. I'm just gonna set it all to off. Actually, energy we can input on any side. I don't care what, what side energy goes in. And gases are off. So I'm gonna make the gases input on red so that you output gas and then boom we've got our hydrogen beautiful beautiful okay um now aqueous accumulator where are you at buddy you're over here right so i'm going to want to side config fluids from the back will be yellow right so then we get our mechanical pipes and then boom, water's going in. Loving it. Cool. Now you need um, now you need bio whatchamacallits. Um, so your your job with bio whatchamacallits, we'll probably set that up. Let's put the crusher here, right? Um, and then we need energy, obviously, for this stuff. So what I'm gonna do is have our basic Energy conduits doing that and that. So you've got the power. You've got the power. We're going to throw some potatoes in here, and we're going to side config you so that your input is on the left 
and your output is on the right and you're gonna auto eject. And then your side config will be items input on the left so that the biofuel, right? So this thing crushes, he makes biofuel, he's making substrates and he's making ethylene. Sweet. So we already have ethylene production up and running. The other thing we might wanna do is store those substrates because they might be useful for something later. They usually don't need a lot of them, but we don't wanna backstuff it, otherwise the machine will stop running. So we're gonna get a drawer, right? So what do substrates do? Boy, do I have a lot of stuff. Uh, substrates are used for, in the PRC, to make HDPE pellets, which are useful later on in the game for advanced things, for mechanism and a few other things. How am I doing on storage, by the way? Because well, we're getting there, guys. We're actually really getting close. We should make another 16K storage cell or two. By the way, by the way, shh. Um, I discovered that 16K storage parts can be made in carpenters and boosting mixtures is a thing. So you can basically double your storage. That's kind of cool. I might want to do that. I wonder if 64K works that way too. Yeah, it does. It totally does. That's kind of cool. If you think about it, that's pretty powerful right there. Like if I made another 16K, like one more 16K, and then use the boosting mixture I got as a quest reward previously to turn that three 16Ks that I have into a 64K, I'm just saying I would get two 64Ks out of that. And that would be a lot of item storage, right? We need Supremium Plate and we need Terax ingots. Uh, somebody tell me what Terax is. It's an alloy of Carmesine, Ovium, and Joxum. Carmesine is what? Is that a... It is. So we can make that. We have all three of these, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So, I mean, that's technically doable. The problem I would have is where to store my items for the interim, right? Like, I couldn't just take the 16K storages that had the items on them. So I'd have to put my items somewhere. Um, so what I would... Trying to think how this works. It would be trickier to do than it seems at first. But don't also totally doable though, right? Uh, what I would probably do is just make a new 64K. So what I'd do is just make three 16Ks um, and then make a 64K, like a fresh new one. And that would give me two 64Ks and I just add it to the system, right? And then we could, after that's done, make more 64Ks. That would work. So anyway, you are gonna side config output auto eject on the top. And then I'm gonna pop that dude there and there goes all the substrates, right? Because if we didn't do that, then you would back stuff with substrates and we'd have a problem. I should put a void upgrade in this thing. Void from drawers. Is not terrible, needs ender ingots, which I think is just an ender pearl and iron, right? Yeah. So that's a really easy upgrade. And upgrade templates, not terrible. Filter modules, not terrible. Hoppers, eh, seen better days. I really want to get that rolling machine from Tech Reborn. I feel like that's the next major gate, right? Like this mod pack clearly has a few major gates. The Carpenter was one, right? I think that rolling machine is another one. Um, not that I need it for making the void upgrade, just, you know, it's a thing. So anyway, now that we have ethylene, cool beans, um, what I think I'm gonna do is just put my gas burning generator right here, okay? Um, and you, sir, I want to remember how you generate power. I think it's an annoying way. But let's get you in wrench mode. Configurates wrench. There you go. Oh, that's not what I wanted entirely. Um, so I think that's the input, right? Green is inputs. So we want a pressurized tube for gas. Okay. Uh, so side config, the gases will be output. Right, and you know what else? Side config for gases, auto eject. So now you connect, the ethylene's in there, and then I just have to rotate you in such a way that you're cool. Okay, nice. So then where does the universal cable connect here? Yeah, it does. All right, so this thing produces power off ethylene. All right, so that's cool. And he's probably not doing a lot right now because he has nowhere to send his power. So his internal buffer's full, his ethylene needs to fill up. As a side note, this thing produces more and more power uh, as there's more and more ethylene inside of it, right? Uh, it increases the burn rate and then does all kinds of cool stuff. So what I want to do now is get our cloche going, right? So our cloche should be a fun time. Okay, so you, Mr. Cloche. So this is the crusher, right? And so I'm going to put the cloche here. 
No. I'm gonna put the cloche here. Okay, and then we're gonna have a basic logistical transporter here. Configure eight items, yes. Uh, you, side config, input us on the top, not this side. And you're gonna pull, okay, and then you're gonna get a piece of dirt, and you're gonna get a potato, and then you need some energy, and you need some water. So I think water can go in the bottom of this dude, right? Yeah, it can't go there. See how it's not connecting? But I think it can go on the bottom. Yes, it can. Why, yes, sir, it can. That's nice, right? So water goes in there, right? If we wanted to, we could throw bone meal in this thing, by the way, and it would speed it up. It would give it a little bit of a boost, which isn't a bad deal to start. Um, and we have a lot of bones, if I remember, in this pack. See, now I'm playing multiple packs again, and uh, I'm, like, forgetting. Like, what do we have a lot of in this one versus the other one? But it's okay. So now all we need is a little bit of power. Power, power. Universal cabling. Um, I remember power being annoying in this, so I can put it there. It's not terrible. The only problem is, is that is where the power comes in at. Um, it's a little dire wiry. The other thing I could do would be to to use that wireless dude. Wireless is, is cheap, right? Oh yeah, that's that's super cheap. I'm gonna do that. This thing doesn't use more than ADR for tech, I don't believe. So, with that said. Unless it's been changed in the configs or something. I'm going to stick you in such a way that you're not messing with other stuff. You're serving five tiles? Well, that's a lot of tiles to serve, buddy. Yeah, I'm not super complaining, but, you know, it's a thing. All right, so you grow plants. Watch. Look how fast it is. It's great. See? Already a potato. And we just got two of them. Beautiful, right? Um, growth modifier 1.0. Nice. That's pretty quick, right? So that'll make us lots of potatoes. Um, part of me wants to put these into a drawer and then have the drawer. Oh, or do we want to just do this? I don't know that we need the drawer. The drawer might be a good idea. Because it'll be nice if we like want to back stuff potatoes a bit. That might be cool. It'll require a little bit more logistical transportering, but not too much. Yeah, so what that'll do is, let's do it like this. Where's my this thingy? There you go. So you should be able to just output your drawer like so. Yes, you do that automatically, beautiful. And then we need a basic logistical transporter here. We're gonna do nope to that. Oops, wrong, wrong thingy. Basic logistical transporter here and here. And that should be cool. Nice, right? Pretty nice, I like it. I'm definitely liking it. So that's fancy. So that should back stuff potatoes, right? And what we'll find is that we'll like wind up making a lot of ethylene That'll generate a lot of power for us, right? Um, really a quite quite a nice amount, right? In the thousands of RF a tick. So now what we wanna do is basically run somewhat parallel to what we ran before, right? So let's run this guy. Do I have a, I do have a building gadget. I'm not sure I wanna use it. Let's see, where's my shovel? Cause we're running into way more dirt than I thought we would down here. You know what I'm gonna do also is hammer it up. Yay, we're getting away from the silence. The sounds of silence, ah. I like it, but I also hate it. Okay, here we are, here we are. We're at the thing, we don't wanna break that because that's our whole being smart system. Is this all, this is underground biomes marble. I was hoping it was astral marble because I could always use more of that. Just want to make sure we're nice and organized here. Hey, cool. Copper and iron. Don't mind if I do. Always need more of that stuff. Okay, so somewhere around here, this. This 
this is energy out and this is energy out and this here is energy in right now i'm pretty sure if i'm not mistaken that i can do that right um now you're pretty good on power right now like really quite good but i can change that if i want to i absolutely can i can do something about that you want to know what i can do about it uh i can get out of this hole why don't you want to go up do i still have a mommy i do hey crusher what's up buddy uh, could you speed things up just a smidgen for me? And you know what? Why don't you speed things up just a smidgen as well? Suddenly, instead of using a small amount of RF, we're using much more. So this is uh, this is testing RF drainage, right? So you're going to not be on. You're going to start losing power. And my test here is to make sure that these cables connect properly. Because uh, I'm using a mix right now, right? Oh, that's right. I don't have an underground there. And you know what else I need is more basic universal cables. Which I don't actually think now that I think about it, this produces more than a thousand RF a tick, doesn't it? <laughs> um, we're gonna need some alumite plates. Alumite plates. So before we do this, let's remove these guys. Speeds, no more. I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need the alumite plates. So alumite plates. Alumite plates. So we want to uh, upgrade our basic universal cables. I want more, uh, and then we're gonna need alumite plates. Right, and some silicone, which we'll take care of in a minute. Silicone's easy. Um, it's just this. Hooray! Really want to know what happened to my reservoir. I have no idea. I have no idea where my reservoir went. Where did it go? I really want that back. Thank you very much. Dyer's like, hey, I'm getting really low on space inside my refined storage system. And then I'm also like, hey, I'm just going to dump a bunch of random garbage items in there. <laughs> That's what happens. Uh, what did I do with my reservoir? Where did it go? I'm doing all kinds of stuff with it. I don't know. This is why I need to record everything I do. I get lost very easily. No idea what happened to it. You didn't, like, fall over here or something, right? I don't know. Very weird. It's gonna bug me. Always does. Always does. It's gonna bug me. Start making more steel. We always need more of that. And you're an input chest, so take that. And did I just get iron? I don't know. I'm not worried about it. It's probably in my AE system. Um, so we need alumite, right? Uh, alumite is a combination of aluminum, iron, and obsidian. Cool. So iron, check. Now we do have some aluminum from somewhere. We have some aluminum dust from Tech Reborn. I couldn't tell you where I got it. I really couldn't. And it's also getting dark. So there's that. Still not sure where my reservoir is. It's gonna bug me. All right, we don't wanna be down here. We wanna be outside. Okay, so let's go like, let's go 15, 10, and 5? Does that sound fair? Back when it's done melting. Well, I think I just realized I put way too much in there. I mathed it wrong. It should have been 15 and 6, not 10, right? I think that's right. Well, we'll find out in a minute. Uh, I don't know if uh, we're getting two sets of obsidian or one, so we'll find out. If it's two sets, then we don't have enough obsidian. Or if it's two sets, we do have enough obsidian. Right, because it should have been three obsidian. So there might be two blocks left over when it's done, and that would be fine. Sweet, and four ingots. Yep, two blocks, four ingots. Perfect. So if we wanted to throw 10 aluminum dust in there, that should absolutely be the exact amount. So where do I get this from? Aluminum ore, aluminum ore, bauxite ore. Do we have bauxite from immersive? I feel like we do. But I didn't get it that way, so I must have got it from a dungeon or something. We have bauxite from Tech Reborn. 
and that makes bauxite dust, which we need to industrial electrolyze. Well, we do have an industrial electrolyzer downstairs, don't we? So getting aluminum should not be a problem at this point. So I'm going to say yes. Just toss it in there, and then that should be the that should be perfect, right? For aluminum, alumite, I think. We'll see. I think it is. Come on, brain. Don't be wrong. Woo! I was right. Yay! Six ingots in a block. Woot. Now you might for days. I mean, I suspect I was supposed to be able to make this a while ago. Like, I'm not sure. So it shouldn't be too big of a problem for me. Three. Four. So that's actually not a bad recipe to upgrade the universal cables, right? Now, I forget how many universal cables we're going to need to get power over there, but we'll kind of figure it out. Are you still cooling? Come on, bro. All right, so I'm going to want at least like eight. That's like a good number in the compactor, right? And we're going to want a few more universal cables if we can. Now, that's also a compactor recipe. It's just steel and red alloy ingots with silicone. Right. I really want to what happened to my reservoir. Really want to know what happened to it. Because that was like the bee's knees way of transferring fluids around. Um, but we need some redstone and more iron. I usually just, whenever I get low on this stuff, I do this. Cool. And with that cooking, we're going to need steel. And what was it for universal cables? Steel plates. So let's get like A to U. And then you're cooking. Universal cable. It's going to be this recipe. That's logistical transporter. No. No. That should be universal cable. Logistical transporter is this one. Carpenter, please. Okay. And then we need silicone, right? That's right, I got it in my inventory already. So magma crucible, how much do we get per silicone bowl? Is it a bucket? Okay, cool. We're gonna need a lot of this stuff. I really want my reservoir back. I might make one real quick, because I can. Where's my reservoir? So I need one of you. I need one of you. And I just need four more bronze plates. Still, it really bugs me. I want to know what happened to it. I really do. Okay, so you're going to go in there. You should be cooking. The bronze plates are getting there. One and two. There's your reservoir so that I can scoop up from the magma crucible. Throw it in there. And now you're happy. Good. Cool. And that's going to be plenty fine for making those guys. And then when he's done, we're going to want to make the upgraded versions, right? Back in a second when it's done cooking. Cool. Now with this done, universal cables, we want to turn into this. So we put you and you in there, and that should start cooking. And this one transfers 5,000 RF a tick, which is pretty good. All right, we might need a little bit more silicone. And actually, I'm surprised that we're like so low on silicone. Can, can, you know what, I cut up a lot. Can you turn into the magma crucible and melt? Doesn't look like it. I could probably melt it here. I just don't feel like that. Uh, so let's get a silicone bool going. That's just coal blocks and sand, if I remember correctly. And the induction smelter. So you're done. You can make some of that stuff. You're going to go away. And you make a healthy amount, right? Yeah, not too shabby. You need to be smelted first, but healthy nonetheless. Magma crucible more of this stuff. 
That was three buckets, right? Yep. And then you're back to work. Nice. This uses three buckets per operation. So we're going to need a few more of these, but not an insane amount by any stretch. Magma Crucible. Do the thing. When am I going to get auto crafting? That's what I want to know. So we're getting pretty close to the wrapping up point of this episode. I just want to connect these cables up and then I'll be happy, right? So let's get you in. That's 21. This might be enough. It might be cutting it a little bit close, but if, it, if it's too close, then it's too close and I'll have to, to eat that. So you're full actually of ethylene, which is nice. Max output 3,000-ish RF a tick. Not too shabby. So what we want to do is basically come across to here. Now, hardened flux ducts do what? Hardened flux ducts do 4,000 RF a tick. So technically this should be cool. I should probably replace them with the advanced ones, but since I'm not entirely sure that I have quite enough advanced, we'll find out momentarily if we do or not. What are you at, basic universal cable? You're not going to tell me. All right, that's fine. Haha, <laughs> we're short by one. We are short by one. That's okay. That's okay. We can make this work. I'm just going to put one of you away. We'll do the plates. I was, I was short on plates, not on basic universal cables, right? So that's what we're going to do. You ready? One. Two. Can't believe we were short by one advanced universal cable. One. Ain't it the way. That's okay, though. That's okay. The episode's running long, and I'm sure no one's complaining. No one ever complains about a long episode, right? Right. How are you on power right now? 1.8 million. Perfect timing. Um, cool. Between three and 4,000 RF a tick. Sweet. Max output 7,000. Almost 8,000 are of a tick. So we're actually overloading uh, this thing. We are actually, in fact, overloading it. What I should do... Whoops. Because you're only doing 4,000 on these. So I'm going to replace that here. Let's make sure that you are set to not... Conf yeah, not connect. Can you reach that, Dyer? That should be cool, right? And we do want to connect these so that you continue to transfer your stored energy. Cool. And now we should be transferring even more RF a tick. We should be able to transfer now the 5,000. So 5.12 is what we're allowed to output, right? Because we were being throttled by the hardened, which is only 4,000, which is why we were flickering between three and four. Now we would probably flicker around five. Um, and that would be cool. Nice. Nice. So you'll continue to produce ethylene, right? You'll backstuff it. You'll hold on to it. If I really wanted to, I could throw a gas tank here, right? And just like store some extra ethylene. That might not be a terrible idea. I don't have one right now, but you, you understand what I could do, right? So I'm not going to do it. Uh, for now, though, it's my sign off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. We'll come back next time. We'll have plenty of power for the foreseeable future. Very shortly foreseeable. Not forever, right? But you get the idea. We should be getting there. So I think next episode we'll jump back into questing and follow up this main quest line and see what's up with Tech Reborn. I'm hoping. And now I have another surprise for you, store for you. Are you ready to reach Iridium Age? I don't know. I don't know what that means, but I'm a little bit afraid. Devil 20 signing off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.